everybody, welcome back on this Monday morning. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and just get straight into things. So got a lot of things planned for you guys this week. So what I want you to do is just repeat after me. Balance. All right, so balance is the theme of this week. So I wanna hear you say it again, balance. So with balance, it's being able to just, you know, keep yourself upright, you've got being able to do things without falling over, but not only that, we'll talk about how to keep balance with your body. So meaning uh, practicing like both sides. Now from here, what we'll do to start practicing this balance this week, I want you, <laughs> I want you to have your hands up. This is very important in keeping your balance, is keeping those hands up, all right? What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this leg right here, we're gonna pick our knee straight up, and then you guys will hold it for 50, 15 seconds, all right? I'll count down from the 15 seconds, and no worries if you have to put your foot down for just a second, and you just pick it right back up and keep going. Ready? So, hands up, and go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and put it down all right so again no worries if you fell over or if you had to put your foot down for a second you just pick yourself right back up and keep going all right so remember i talked about balance between your body too so we have to practice both sides instead of just one side all right so what we'll do is take this leg now and uh, we're gonna pick that leg up for 15 seconds ready so hands up get set go 15 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and put it down. Awesome. All right. So go ahead and shake out your legs really fast. All right. From here, we're going to go ahead and get into our kick for today. I want to teach you guys about the side kick all right so last week we focused on your front kicks but to, uh, this week is going to be focused on your side kick so just like the name sounds the front kick we kick to the front but the side kick we kick to the side so I kick to the side so what you guys are gonna do is facing me you're gonna put your feet sh shoulder width apart and then all your toes will be pointing towards me all my toes will be pointing towards you guys I'm gonna have my hands up and then I'm gonna look at where my target is so I'm not going to turn my body to my target. I'm going to stay body facing you guys. I just turn my head towards my target. I always want to see where that's going to be. From here, I'm just going to take this leg and we're going to be practicing that balance, that standing on one leg so you guys can kick. It's very important. We're going to be picking this knee up. Same thing, just like we did before. You're going to pick the knee up in front of you and then we're going to kick to the side of us. Right, so you just push your leg out towards the side, pull it back in, set it down. It's okay if you fall. Like I said, just pick yourself back up, and then we're gonna keep going. All right, so we got our hands up. We're looking at our target. All right, your toes are still pointing towards me. We're gonna pick that knee up. Then we're gonna kick out, pull it back in, set it down. All right, so on my count, we're gonna do those kicks, and then I want you guys to do your best hi -ya! every time we kick. All right, ready? And one, Hiya. ready, two, Hiya. ready, three, Hiya. all right, so what we're gonna do, what we'll do is we're just gonna turn our head to the other side. So now we'll be kicking with this leg, all right? Again, same thing, all your toes will be pointing towards me, my toes point towards you guys, you're gonna pick that knee up, point it at me, I'll point my knee at you guys, and then we'll both kick to this side. All right, ready? So we pick the knee up, you're gonna push it out, pull it back in, set it down, and then this time, instead of your best hayas, I want you to do your best tiger roars, or growls, whichever you prefer. I prefer roars, all right? Ready? And get set. Don't kick just yet. All right, for real this time. Ready? One. one blue hope you 
guys didn't kick because that wasn't a number. <laughs> Ready? And three. Roar. All right. So from here, what we'll do is going and starting to work on our blocks. So for this week, we'll be working on those. Today, we'll be working on the high block. All right. So with the high block, it sounds exactly what the name is. You block high. So basically, you're going to take your arm and pick it up over your head using our elbow. So last week we practiced it from a sitting stance where you put it on your shoulder and then lift the elbow up and then back to your waist and we practiced both sides. But today we're going to do it from a different way. So you're going to have your feet together, your hands are on your hips and your eyes are on me. From here we'll go into what's called an L stance where our feet are going to make the shape of an L. So just follow along with me. All right? You're going to take this foot, the one on this side, this side right here. We're going to point the toes that way. Then your other toes are still pointing at me. They're going to take one small step forward. All right? Then you're going to have your hands up in guard, just like we did for our side kicks. And then from here, what you'll do is just taking your arm, you're going to block straight up. Go. I'll let you guys do it a couple times. Blocking, 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 lifting it up over your heads, blocking, blocking. Makes it more fun if your parents trying to get you with the pillow or your pad. Now everybody, jump and change legs. All right, we're gonna jump and change legs again. And again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again, and again. All right, so from here, what we'll do is, now you got this side in front, so same thing, just throw in a couple of practice blocks. So we're blocking, and we're blocking, and we're blocking, and we're gonna keep blocking. Block, 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 block. Couple more, one, two, three, four, and stop, all right. With those blocks, what we'll do is, we're about to play a game, but I need to show you guys one more thing before we play our game. So we're still gonna be using our hands, but instead of a block, we're gonna do some punches. All right, everybody loves doing some punches. All right, we're gonna do two punches. We're gonna do a, what's called a front arm and back arm punch. From here, same thing, we'll step out into the L stance. So you got your foot on this side, pointing it that way. Our other foot points this way and we take that small step forward. And then I've got my hands up. Hands up, hands up, hands up. All right, we're gonna go ahead and take this front arm and what I want you to do is punch with your front arm. So the one closer to me, for you guys. So you gotta punch with your front arm. Ready? So just punch. Ready? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Now I want you to only punch with your back arm. So the other arm. One, punch. Two, punch. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. We're gonna play our game now since you know what to do. If I say one, you punch with your arm closer to me. If I say two, you punch with your arm farther away from me. So one is your front arm punch, two is your back arm punch. Ready? One. One. Two. Two. One. Two. One, two. Two, one. One, 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 two, two, one, two, two, uh oh. One, two, two, one, 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 two, one, two, 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 one, one, two, 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 one, 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 two, 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 three. There was no three, all right. So from here, I want everybody to take your front foot and step behind you. So we're gonna step behind us. <clears throat> all right, now from here, what we'll do is taking our punches, our front arm punch, and then we've got our back arm punch. What we'll do is we're gonna add something else, all right? So this time, if I say three, 
we're gonna add that three. If I say three, you have to duck. So staying in your stance, you just duck. Okay? So if I say one, you front arm punch. If I say two, you back arm punch. And if I say three, you duck. Ready? Get set. Three. One. Three. Two. One. Two. Three. Two. Three. One. Two. One. Three. Two. Three. Three. Two. Oh, hopefully you didn't punch with your front arm like I did. I'm trying to trick you guys. So two is your back arm. Two. Two. One. Two. One. Three. One. Three. Two. Two. Three. One. One. Two. Three. All right. So go ahead and shake it out. So shake your arms out. Shake your legs out. Okay. So you guys are definitely ready for the next thing. What we want to do is we are going to work on an escape skill. So last week, we focused on doing the break fall. So somebody pushes you over, you do your break fall, and so you can stop your head from hitting on the ground, and you get up as fast as you can so you can get away. Now, this week, we're going to do the shoulder escape. So somebody grabs you on the shoulder. They grab you by the shoulder. <clears throat> we're just gonna do a like a one hand grab instead of a two hand grab today, but we'll go over the two hand grab on Wednesday. So from here, if somebody grabs you on your shoulder, all right? If you have your parent with you, go ahead and grab them. If you don't have them, you can go ahead and go find them really fast and grab them. I'll give you guys about five seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get started with this. So from here. What you'll do is, if you're the parent, you just grab them by the shoulder, all right? And then remember, as parents, you guys don't want to take it easy on your children because when you take it easy on your children, they don't properly learn. So now's your chance to really get them for keeping you cooped up in quarantine, all right? So <clears throat> with this shoulder grab, for, for you guys that are escaping from the shoulder grab from your parents, what you'll do is I want you to Whatever arm they grab, so let's say somebody grabs this arm for me, I'm gonna lift this hand straight up just like I'm asking a question at school. All right, you raise your hand. I'll move back a little bit so you can see me better. You raise your hand up just like you wanna ask somebody a question. All right, waiting your turn. And then from here, all I'm gonna do